Hello and Assalamualaikum to everyone. My name is Nur Karina Bittikarudin. I'm from Group 3. My fellow members are Nurhani Nadia Miti Samsudin and Mirami Virginie Metis. Alright, so today I will be presenting my part which, which is Geographic Coordinate, Planimetric Coordinate and Datum. Alright, so to define location on the world, a geographic coordinate system uses a tree dimensional surface 3D, an angular unit of measure, a prime meridian, and a datum are all part of the geographic coordinate system. A point is referenced by its longitude and latitude values. Angles measured from the earth center to a point on the surface are known as long longitude and latitude. The planet is depicted as a globe with longitude and latitude values. So horizontal lines often known as east-west lines or parallels, are lines of equal latitude in spherical system. Vertical lines, often known as north-south lines or meridians, are lines of equal longitude. These lines form a graticule, which is a gridded network that encircles the globe. The equator is a line of latitude that runs halfway between the poles. It's established the zero latitude line. The prime meridian is the line of zero longitude. The prime meridian in most geographic coordinate system is the longitude that passes through granite in Glen. The inter intersection of the equator and the prime meridian is divided into four geographical quadrants based on the compass bearings from the origin. West and east are to the left and right of the prime meridian respectively, and north and south are above the and below the equator. Okay, next is a planimetric coordinates. A planimetric coordinate, mostly known as a projected coordinate system, is defined on a flat two dimensional surface 2D. The lengths, angles, and areas of the projected coordinate system are constant in both dimensions. A projected coordinate system is always based on a sphere of spheroid. Locations are designated in projected coordinate system by XY coordinates on a grid with the origin at the grid center. So this is a geographic coordinate and this is a planimetric coordinate. Okay, next um, is a datum. Datum is an abstract coordinate system with a reference surface such as sea level that serve to provide known locations to be the surveys and create maps, as well as a tool used to define the shape and size of the earth. In this way, datums act similar to starting point when you give someone directions. So this is a local datum and this is a geocentric datum. A geocentric datum couples a joint with the ellipsoid at each element center of mass while a local datum couples a joint with the ellipsoid at the location on each element surface. So, satellite data has provided geodesies with fresh measurements in the last 15 years, allowing them to define that the best earth-fitting spheroid, which connects coordinates to the earth center of mass, the origin of an earth-centered or geocentric datum is the earth center of mass. WGS 1984 is the most recently created and commonly used datum. It serves as the foundation for global internet locational measurement. A geocentric alignment is used by several current datums. So the uh, spirit of a local datum is aligned to closely fit the earth surface in a specific area. A point on the spheroid surface corresponds to a specific location on the Earth's surface. The position is referred to as the datum's origin point. All other points are determined from the origin point's coordinate, which are fixed. Okay, so uh, next is the geocentric datum used in Malaysia. So we have Kertau 1968. Kertau Ariso, Timbalai 1948, WGS 84, and GDM 2000. Okay, so uh, geodetic datum of measure 2000, which is GDM 2000, commonly used in Malaysia.
Malaysia including Malaysia, Sabah and Sarawak Kertau Arisu uh, commonly used in uh, West Malaysia and Singapore Timbalan 1948 commonly used in Brunei uh, East Malaysia which is Sabah and Sarawak Kertau 1968 commonly used in West Malaysia and Singapore while WGS84 commonly used in the Peninsula Malaysia so that's it from me, thank you Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Mariamie Virginie. So today I will uh, discuss three topics, which are map projection, coordinate system, and WGS84. Okay, map projection. What is map projection? A map projection is a method for taking the curved surface of the earth and displaying it on something flat, like computer screen or a piece of paper. Map makers have the device method for taking points on the curved surface of the earth and projecting them into a flat surface. This method enables map maker to control the distortion that results from creating a flat map on the round earth. So there are a few uh, properties of map projection. There are um, distance, area, shape, direction, and scale. Okay, no projection can retain more than one of these properties over a large portion of the Earth. This is not because sufficiently clever projection has yet to be yet to be devised. Uh, the task is physically impossible, actually. Okay, types of map projection. There are many types of map projection. So the first one will be cylindrical. Cylindrical is a type of map in which a cylinder is warped around the globe, as you can see in this picture. And uh, the detail of the globe are projected into the cylinder surface. Then the cylinder is unwarped into a flat surface, yielding a rectangular shape map. Generally used for navigation, this type of map is used for navigation, but this map is very distorted at the poles. Okay, next type of map projection is a pseudo-cylindrical or known as oval projection. So, oval projection have the central meridian as a straight line and the parallel lines as sinusoidal curve. This projection also have a higher latitudes um, than standard one. Okay, so this um, pseudo cylindrical maps combine many cylindrical maps together. This is because to reduce the distortion. Each cylinder is focused on a particular latitude line but generally used to show world phenomena or movement um, quite actually it's quite accurate because it is computer generated this map okay next um, planar azimuthal projection so planar projections are the subset of 3d geographical projection constructed by linear mapping points in three dimensions space to points on two dimension projection mode so it's just like in this picture as you can see this map projection generally used for polar map focus on the central point then the outside edge is disordered as you can see in this picture these are the example uh, last but not least, uh, conic projection. Conic projection have parallel line, parallel lines that are parallel to the top, like in this picture, and then are mapped to circular circular arcs. Okay, the lines are drawn with a standard line that is stretched. This one, okay when the distance between the line has been crossed. Okay, last, but not least, there's a... <laughs> okay, last. So, 
uh, last is pseudoconic projection. Pseudoconic projection are circular arcs which share center point that are projected using parallels. The meridian is not limit, limited to the straight line, unlike conic projection. Okay. The equal area map projection bone is an example of pseudoconic projection. There are no restrictions on the shapes of the map, such as rectangle or this. The pseudoconic projection is one of the earliest map types, and although Photolumi employed it, it is seldom since nowadays. Okay, so there are many types of map projection, many kind of map projection, but these are the famous map projection that often being used. So the first one will be uh, Mer Mercato. So this one, the square, the first picture is the example, Mercato. The second one will be Winkle Triple. Uh, I, I didn't put the picture in it. Uh, the third one is sinusoidal projection uh, the last picture is the example then God's interrupted homolism homolism the fourth one will be Robinson projection Robinson projection is the third one the picture um, the last one is a a mobile projection so the second picture is the example okay so for geographic coordinate system there are two types of coordinate system the first one will be geographical coordinate system and the second one is projected coordinate system okay so what is geographic coordinate system okay so geographic coordinate system is a system that use a three-dimensional spherical surface to determine locations on the earth any location on earth can be referenced by a point with longitude and latitude coordinates the geographic coordinate system is appropriate for global data and global data sets and application such as satellite imagery um, for example the picture on the top the first picture on the top is the example for a a geographic coordinate system where a location is represented by the coordinate long longitude 80 degrees east and latitude 55 degrees north okay uh, meanwhile for a projected projected coordinate system is a flat two-dimensional representation of the earth it is based on a sp sphere or spheroid geographic coordinate system but it used linear unit of measure for coordinate so that calculate calculation for calculation of distance and area are easily done in terms of those same units okay the latitude and longitude coordinates are convert to x and y x y coordinate on the flat projection the x is usually the eastward direction of a point and the y, co y coordinate is usually the northward direction of a point the center line that runs east and west is referred to as the x-axis x-axis and the center line that runs north and south is referred as y-axis okay um for WGS84, okay, WGS84, or uh, the full name is uh, Genetic System 1984. Okay, it being short form to WGS84. So WGS84 is an Earth Center, Earth Fixed Terrestrial Reference System, and Genetic Datum. WGS84 is based on a consistent set of constants and model parameters that describe Earth size, shape gravity and geomagnetic fields. Do you know that the global positioning system used the world genetic system or WGS4 as it refers to coordinate system? 
It made, it's made up of a reference ellipsoid, a standard coordinate system, a lab amplitude data, and a joint. Similar to the North America datum of 1983, it used the Earth center mass as the coordinate origin. What is the difference between WGS84 and UTM? WGS84 is a geographical coordinate system, meanwhile UTM is a projected coordinate system. Geographical coordinate systems are based on sphere rate and utilize angular units such as degree. Meanwhile, for projected coordinate systems are based on a plan. The sphere rate projected onto a 2D surface and utilize linear units. Millennium Revised Triangulation MRT. Since 1948, the Millennium Revised Triangulation Coordinate Reference System 1948 MRT48 with Bukit Kertau as the point of origin has been used for mapping and cadastral surveys in Peninsula Malaysia. In other hand, survey and mapping works in Sabah, Sarawak and Labuan has been carried out using Borneo Triangulation 1968 DT68 Reference System Coordinate with Bukit Timbalai as the point of origin. The Malayan Revised Triangulation are consists of 77 geodetic station, 240 primary station, 837 secondary and 51 tertiary station. MRT was implemented as a result of prior network recomputation and primary triangulation. The MRT also employs the RSO map projection and Cassini Solna for cadastral survey projection, both of which has been in use for geodetic mapping, cadastral and other surveys. Meanwhile, the Borneo Triangulation 1868 resulted from a readjustment of East Malaysia's principle in jurisdiction and consists of the Borneo West Coast Triangulation of Brunei and Sabah, the Borneo East Coast Triangulation of Sarawak, and extension of the West Coast Triangulation in Sabah. Because of covering uh, of Malaysia's land that is separate by the sea, two datums MRT and BT-68 divide Malaysia into West and East. Borneo Triangulation is a coordinate system that employs the average 1830 in as the reference coordinate system with the reference coordinate system fitting best at Bukit Timbalai. Malayan Reverse Triangulation MRT and Borneo Triangulation 1968 BT68 both use geodetic coordinates. As what you can see on the top right of the slide is the geographic coordinate with latitude, longitude and height. And on the bottom right of the slide is Cartesian coordinate with X, Y and Z axis. Also on the left side of the slide is the Malayan Revised Triangulation Illustration and on the right side is the Borneo Triangulation Illustration. So for the Rectified School Automorphic RSO. One of the oblique Mercator projection derivation is the rectified screw automorphic, often known as the hot time projection. It is used for conformal mapping of obliquely oriented areas that do not have a north south or east west trend. Martin hot time present the projection formulas in 1946. The rectified school automorphic projection is suitable for mapping large scale or small areas that have an oblique orientation and do not have a significant north, south or east west extent. Malaysia generates topographic map using the RSO. Malaysia, Singapore and Brunei utilize RSO as their national coordinate system. This projection of the Mercator Serong Hotan type, Hotan Oblique Mercator, is designed particularly for a certain country and its application is restricted to the area in question. As a result, the Malaysian RSO projection system differs from other country projection systems since the origin and parallel lines are different. For area in use, Malaysia to West Malaysia onshore. RSO is a plane coordinate. It uses nodes and its coordinate on the map. The coordinate used for RSO is Cartesian 2D and the orientation used is east and north. This is the example of topographic map of Malaysia. For the last one is Cassini-Soltner. 
Until the early 20th century, this projection was one of the principal topographic mapping projection. Cesar Francois Cassini de Turi 1714-1784 invented it initially. In the year of 1745, he then invented the projection that was used for France official topographic maps. Cassini Sotna is a transverse cylindrical projection with neither equal area, nor conformal and written scale along the central meridian and all lines perpendicular to it. Cassini Sotna is a transverse cylindrical projection map. Thus, it is best suitable for large mapping of areas that are mostly not south in extent, that is cadastro map and lot of land. Primarily, when the Cassini Solna projection is used for large scale charting of areas close to the central meridian, it also has its limitation. A spheroid extent is limited to 5% on each side of the central meridian. Data projected to Cassini Solna beyond that range may not be projected back to the same location. Because of the difficulty in gauging size and orientation on Cassini Solna, transfer mercator is frequently selected. In Malaysia, the Cassini Sotna map projection has a separate origin for practically every state with the goal of maintaining the proper scale. In other words, each state has its own coordinate system or grid. Given that each state has its own Cassini Sotna coordinate system, the different state cadastral map cannot be integrated if the Cassini Sotna projection is used. As a result, it has been challenging to establish a single national land base especially given Malaysia's rapid development of geographic information system. However, there is a way to convert this projection to the RSO projection, which is a national projection system. But in most cases, this conversion method introduces distortion or mistake in the resulting map. Nowadays, the Cassini projection has been mostly replaced by the transverse Mercator projection. This is the Cassini Solner illustration. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.